tension and some other bull crap. Y'all know, I mean, most of us knew that that shit was bullshit. And come to find out they had their own independent person come in, which you always need to do because you can't trust none of these people. You see how the ceiling looks dingy though? Because the ceiling wasn't painted. Oh, okay. It's fingerprints on the ceiling actually right here. In the daylight it's gonna look different. It's good enough to rent. good morning you guys um welcome back it is june 2nd blackout tuesday and it is about 11 something 11 something i don't know so i'm up today and my plan actually was to go out buy a television for my laundry room and grocery shop for all of the new uh ingredients and things that i need for my new diet and then i realized that today is no buy so i will not be buying anything i will not be going anywhere i'm not really posting anything unless it's for the culture um about what we're going through other than that i'm not really entertaining it today i do need to do some things around my house because friday we have some more people coming we get in this house together um they're gonna be doing my upstairs hallway the ceiling is like curved in one area and at some point like back in the day these people had popcorn ceilings my aunt and uncle had popcorn ceilings in Brooklyn a while ago, but that's not the look we're going for. So we actually, well, not we, my husband actually has started the work like himself. He's a businessman. He don't got time for that. So he wants to do everything, but he can't do everything. And we have to know when you can't do everything. You got to hire somebody that can do it. And 
we hired somebody that can do it and that will do it quick because that's what they do. So, um, let me see how you can see me. All right, I don't wanna be looking crazy, but my hand is hurting, so I needed to lay down. Um, I just ran out real quick. I had a delivery from FedEx. So, yeah. Um, it is June 2nd. There's a lot going on in the world, man. There's a lot going on in the world. And we just got to stay hip to what's going on, educate ourselves, do what we can, our part, and <clears throat> moving the culture forward. I also wanted to say on my Instagram, as soon as I posted something about Black Lives, I lost like 15 subscribers. Now, I be having people liking my stuff and commenting and subscribing from everywhere. And... Bye bye. Like I am black. <laughs> How you gonna love my culture but not love me or my people? Like goodbye. And you know, on Facebook it's the same sort of thing, but Facebook I know everybody and you definitely have those people who are real, real quiet right now about everything that's going on and don't have much to say, but let it have been, you know, somebody else. They loud and proud all day, but now they real, real quiet. Those type of things, I do not forget. Um, yeah, and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. So, I might do a haul today. I do have some other things coming in, but there's riots and shit going on all over. Like, people are tracking, people are attacking delivery trucks and, like, robbing them. So, I don't know if I'm going to get my stuff or uh, not. And I'm, I'm, that's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to do some laundry today. The plan is to do some laundry today to wash my hair and wrap it up, curl it up. Um, what else do I want to do today? I might edit some clips because I've been vlogging like every day or every other day and do the whole video. And what else? <laughs> I have a whole list of shit. I have stuff that needs to go down to my basement that needs to be organized. I have to do my meal plan, which I was starting to do. Um, I have a box of tissues everywhere because I have allergies. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. I think I have. I have super sensitive eyes. I have um, sensitive eyes. I have allergies. I'm just all fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot, but hey, I'm, I'm getting through it. All right, that's it. I just wanted to come in and, you know, start my day um with a little vlog and we'll see where the day goes all right i'll just see y'all later So I'm back in my office and I am gonna set some stuff up and then I'm gonna start my laundry and finish doing some housework. I'm actually right now in, pro in the process of, um, you know, the usual changing winter and fall clothes over for summer clothes. But the funniest thing is, um, it's been cold like it was cold yesterday i had to wear this hoodie um meanwhile the other day like the end of may it was super hot and that was super cold i had to close my windows so i put most of my husband's like winter and fall work clothes away and he was like yeah where's my sweaters i was like i packed them away already so this is just water in my little starbucks mug I know I'm not the only one obsessed with Starbucks mugs. I think me and my homegirl, we started buying these Starbucks mugs. Was it last Christmas? Or the Christmas before, like, they had these cute holiday mugs and we stay in Starbucks. Now, if you've been watching for a while, I'm not really a big 
Starbucks uh, coffee drinker, but I do drink their teas and I started drinking some of their coffees after doing some research and then I just substitute like milk for whatever else I want or if they have some ingredients that I'm not cool with, I just substitute. So we're gonna do the chamomile and lavender tea in here and let it steep. This is actually um, reverse osmosis water. We have a reverse osmosis system in our house, in this house, and the water is just so much better for you. Um, and this is room temperature. Well, it's out of the system, so it's not super cold. It's kind of like not warm, but like out of the faucet, sort of. Um, okay, and then I'm going to do a um, organic echinacea. Echinacea, Echinacea, however you pronounce it as well. Um, this is good for your immune system. I was just talking to some of my people and I was like, yo, if nobody after all these protests and all these people, hundreds, thousands of people are in the streets together, some are wearing masks, some are not, police are wearing masks, some are not, if don't nobody get sick after all of this, then it's time to get back to the world because I gotta feel like if don't nobody get sick after all these people are exposed to each other, then mm, sign ain't right. Sign ain't right. All the rest in peace. I know eight people who have died from it. Um, but you just can't be too trusting nowadays. And let me tell you, I'm always with the mindset of I'd rather be safe than sorry. So there's that part of it. And um, yeah, I don't know though. Cause, Cause like I said, there's there's a few people who are not that I know personally are like over it. And they're just like, yeah, I'm not wearing a mask no more. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Just don't, you just not gonna be around me with no mask on but you do what you feel is right and then you know once everything plays out maybe i'll reassess my maybe i'll reassess my um my opinion or maybe i won't um we shall see we shall see i had a few to do things on here and it required me ordering some things but blackout tuesday i'm not gonna purchase a thing uh, mm. You know, they tried to say in the beginning that George Floyd did not die from asphyxiation, that he died from hypertension and some other bull crap. Y'all know, I mean, most of us knew that that shit was bullshit. And come to find out they had their own independent person come in, which you always need to do because you can't trust none of these people. And he absolutely did die from asphyxiation, which was the, the cop's neck, the cop's knee on his neck for a certain amount of time. It's ridiculous. Blocking his airways. All right. I'll get back to y'all later. All right, you guys. So I'm actually under my old channel and I haven't signed in to uh, my Pink Hugs channel in forever. I kind of actually forgot about some of these people. But what I'm actually doing is gathering all the videos that I have on this channel. And I am actually going to download them because um i need to delete this channel like i told you guys if you've been watching for a while like once i partnered with a um a network they basically took over my channel and i really had no more control and uh i needed to i needed to get out of um I needed to stop uploading videos and stuff to this channel. All right, so I'm back in my Pink Hugs uh, Simply Supri channel. And um, I made a lot of these videos private, but there's still a lot of uh, videos that are um, active. But I need to download these to my computer and then I'm just going to delete all of this off of YouTube and I'm going to be done. I've been trying to do this for years 
we just never had the time but i'm gonna try to do some of that today and work on that all right you guys see you soon some of y'all on this channel may not know about this channel but i love this channel i love my little intro it's so cute look at me reminiscing all my good videos over here I don't want to be linked to none of these none of these networks and i don't even know if they still do that but as soon as i link to that network fashion hall fashion style hall whatever it was it's downhill from there hey you guys Aww. welcome back to my channel I can't breathe. 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 No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace!